Hey, wait a second. Ari's birthday? You made this video last year. Yeah. It's late April, so you know what that means. Taxes! And Ari's birth. I made a birthday video last year, but you don't just celebrate a birthday once when you turn one, and then never again. We'd all forget how old we are. Ari can't count, so I'll keep track for him. You're at two. The first few weeks of Ari's arrival are what I like to call learning and panicking weeks. You're filled with nothing but love and anxiety. The two most different yet similar emotions in the world. Like when you get a new phone and for the first little bit you're afraid to even set it down on the counter because it might get scratched. But then in a month you don't care anymore and you just toss it across rooms. It's like that but with a living being. Once during the learning and panicking weeks, I was giving Ari some peanut butter on a spoon, and somehow some peanut butter got stuck in his little nose hole. And I was so paranoid about everything, like, what if it's stuck? What if it gets infected? What if it goes into his head and clogs with bird vein and all he can see is peanut butter? I freaked myself out and ended up Googling how to get peanut butter out of your bird's nose. There wasn't any information on the topic, surprisingly, and as I was looking up what the scientific term for bird nostril was, he sneezed it out. I've been researching and wanting an Ari since I was 12, but I'm still learning new things about them all the time. All you out there who have a bird probably definitely know what I'm gonna get into here, but I'm gonna enlighten the rest of you about a little bird thing called a morning poop. This is all learned through personal experience. Ari was finally starting to warm up to me and eventually got to the point where he was comfortable stepping on my finger and playing and stuff. So one morning I took off the blanket on his cage and said good morning like I always do. He was excited to start the new day and I let him out onto my bed. He walked around and quacked a bit and then took the biggest freaking poop I've ever seen come out of a bird. What the crap is this, Ari? What the frick? There's no possible way a giant mountain poop can even come out of this two ounce bird child's bird hole. Ari poops are normally like the size of a fingernail, but this one was like a spoonful. Don't try to envision it too much. Do birds take giant poops in the morning or did he just lay a poop egg? Birds choose not to poop where or while they sleep, which means it builds up during the night. Depending on the type of bird, they can poop between 15 to up to 40 or 50 times a day. So in the morning, they just immediately drop 12 hours worth of built up poop, which is like 90% ew. But being real, can you imagine how amazing that must feel? <laughs> Just wake up, take a poop the size of a baby, and start your day feeling light and ready for anything. Anyway, so that was a learning experience, and I made a mental note, make sure Ari morning poops before being taken out of the cage. A couple weeks later, it's the start of a new day. I'm working at my computer, and my mom walks in to say good morning to Ari. I wasn't paying too much attention as she took him out of the cage and onto the desk, and all of a sudden, Vietnam flashbacks. Wait, did he? Ugh. Did he just poop all his guts out? No, I forgot to warn you about morning poops. What? Can you clean this up? Ha! <laughs> no, it's your bird. So that's morning poops to us zero. But we haven't striked out yet. Struck out. Fast forward a month or two, and I had my parents watch Ari because I was going out of town for a bit. Ari was more social back then, so he let my parents pick him up. He hates everyone now. I got back and my mom said everything was fine, except one day, dad took him out into the kitchen while she was eating breakfast. She looked over. No, wait, you. Ugh. The good thing is, once you learn the hard way, you never forget. You never forget your first morning poop. Enough about morning poops, more birth celebration. I don't come here very often because I don't get invited to parties. I'm throwing a birthday for a bird. Is there any aisles you have for that? <laughs> But well, we have birthday aisles. Are you ready for a surprise? Look at this, just for you. What do you think? Oh, I'm scared. I think this is too much for a bird. But he's my child. <laughs> I got a pin just for you. I think it suits you very much. I didn't get you a cake because uh, you can't eat it. So I'm gonna give you a seed ball. Want a seed ball? <laughs> this lighting is horrible. <laughs> he actually hates me. What do you think? There was also like this pig thing and I thought it was really cute. So I got it. It said to th throw it at the wall so I'm gonna. <laughs> Same. Grammy also got you a present. Gonna open it? It's a toy! Okay, he's just gonna
gonna try and get all the seeds off the table. <laughs> Ari knows what's up. <laughs> this is the only reason he likes me. <laughs> ah! Happy birthday, Ari! Yay! <laughs> Obviously, Ari is living the life of luxury here, but it really sucks because a lot of birds are in really bad homes and are being mistreated. My heart hurts to think that Ari could have ended up with someone who doesn't care or neglects him. Tiny cage, no toys, broken heart. No peanut butter to get stuck in his nose. It's the horrible truth for a lot of birds, but there's hope for some of them. My friend Anika works at a bird rescue in Tempe, and it takes in birds that owners can't take care of anymore, or that are being relocated from bad homes, or that are just suffering. I've been to the rescue, and besides the extreme constant bird screaming, it was fun to see all the feather buddies. There's Murphy the cockatoo, who's the rescue's mascot and everyone loves him, and Pistachio, the super nice bird friend that helps children and people get comfortable with holding birds, and this little Buddy's Junior, who was rescued from an absolutely horrible household. He plucked out almost all of his feathers from stress and anxiety of his previous owner, but is making a great recovery and despite the abuse, still loves people and being the center of attention. Oh, <laughs> he's a little chicken. The bird rescue is so great, but since it's based on volunteer work, it doesn't make much profit on its own. Anika and the owners want to renovate and upgrade the place a bit to care for more birds, and we're hoping to start a fundraiser to help them. And I was like, I want to help save birds because I love them probably more than people. So I'm I'm donating a thousand dollars to the rescue and informing you about it as well. They're such great people doing such great things and I want to support things I believe in. If you want to help out a bunch of Aries, the rescue and many bird friends will be very thankful. Even if it's something small like a dollar or just sharing it with other people. Little things like that go a long way with enough teamwork. My friend Sarah from Simply Sarah Art is super crazy wicked talented and made this awesome spray paint of Ari. You can go to her channel and see how she made it to prove that she's an absolute prodigy and she offered to help with the fundraiser and is giving one away? Sarah, how are you so good? If you donate at least $10 to the rescue, you'll be entered into a raffle to get the chance to win this beautiful Ari portrait. Also, since I bought this party dog and realize I have no use for it, I'm gonna just give that away too. It says you can write on it, so I'll write anything you want. And this is the first Ari plush ever made. It's the only one in the world that looks like this. Whoa! because it wasn't good enough. <laughs> we made changes to the real Aries, so they look different, but I bet someone would think it's cool, so that's going too. Also, 10 random donors get a signed postcard from me. Why? Because I have a few extra from signing cards and I wanna get rid of them. Happy birthday to Ari, the two-year-old brat, and cheers to all the other Aries out there. I wish you all happy lives filled with a lot of peanut butter. <laughs> yeah? Pretty bird. Such a pretty bird. Yeah, it's such a pretty bird. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty bird, pretty bird.